On October 31, 2024, North Korea conducted a pivotal test of its newly developed solid-fuel intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, the Wasong-19. This advanced missile reportedly possesses the capability to reach the continental United States, reinforcing its status as one of the most formidable assets in North Korea's military arsenal. According to North Korean state media, the test successfully validated the missile's operational capabilities, highlighting the country's commitment to enhancing its long-range missile technology. The Wasong-19 is a significant advancement in North Korea's missile program, emphasizing a strategic shift towards solid-fuel technology. Unlike older liquid fuel systems, solid-fuel ICBMs offer several operational advantages, including rapid deployment and reduced vulnerability to preemptive strikes. These missiles can be launched with minimal preparation time, making them a critical component of North Korea's strategy to deter perceived threats, particularly from the United States and its allies. Kim Jong-un personally supervised the launch, which was described by state media as a strategic demonstration. The missile was fired on a high-angle lofted trajectory to ensure safety and minimize escalation risks by avoiding flights over neighboring countries. Analysts estimate that if launched on a standard trajectory, the Wasong-19 could cover distances exceeding 13,000 kilometers, thus capable of striking targets on the U.S. mainland. This continued development and testing of solid-fuel ICBMs reflect North Korea's accelerated efforts to establish reliable long-range strike capabilities amid escalating regional tensions. The recent test has raised alarms among regional and international stakeholders, prompting swift condemnations from both the United States and South Korea. They underscored that the launch constitutes a violation of United Nations resolutions prohibiting North Korea from testing ballistic missile technology. The test not only signifies North Korea's intent to bolster its missile arsenal, but also showcases an increasingly sophisticated approach to missile mobility, reliability, and rapid deployment capabilities. In recent years, North Korea has made significant strides in its intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM capabilities, evolving from early liquid fuel systems to advanced solid fuel technology. This evolution is characterized by successive tests and incremental improvements, marking a shift in the country's nuclear posture. The Wasong-19 launch is a continuation of this trend, demonstrating Pyongyang's enhanced missile range, readiness, and operational flexibility, all aimed at countering perceived threats from the U.S. and its allies. Historically, North Korea's earlier ICBMs, such as the Wasong-15 and Wasong-17, showcased its long-range strike potential. However, these systems were slower to deploy and required extensive preparation, making them vulnerable to detection and preemptive strikes. The emergence of solid-fuel ICBMs like the Wasong-18, tested multiple times in 2023, and now the Wasong-19 signifies a substantial leap in North Korea's missile capabilities. Solid fuel missiles allow for faster launches, greater mobility, and easier concealment, providing North Korea with enhanced operational agility and a launch on demand capability. The progression from the Wasong 18 to the Wasong 19 illustrates North Korea's rapid technological advancements in missile systems. The Wasong 18 demonstrated an estimated range of 15,000 kilometers, capable of reaching the entire continental United States if launched on a standard trajectory. The Wasong 19, potentially an evolution of the Wasong-18, may offer similar or extended range capabilities, thereby placing nearly all of North America within striking distance, depending on its payload configuration. Such advancements raise the possibility of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, which would complicate missile defense efforts in the region. Regionally, North Korea's advancements have heightened security concerns among its neighbors and the United States. Both South Korea and Japan have strengthened their missile defense systems and conducted joint military exercises with the U.S. in response to the increasing sophistication of North Korea's ICBMs. Additionally, the recent test coincides with increased cooperation between North Korea and Russia, suggesting potential technological or strategic exchanges that could accelerate advancements in North Korean missile technology. These developments reflect an evolving nuclear landscape in East Asia, where North Korea's transition to highly survivable, road-mobile, Solid-fuel ICBMs enhances its deterrent posture and raises the complexities of regional security dynamics. Each successful test moves North Korea closer to a fully operational, flexible and deployable ICBM force, capable of posing a continuous strategic threat to U.S. territories and allies across the Pacific. As North Korea progresses with its missile program, the Wasong-19 test signifies a notable shift in its nuclear posture marked by an increased readiness to deploy advanced missile systems in a more flexible and survivable manner. 
This escalation raises the stakes in the ongoing geopolitical dynamics in East Asia, as the world watches closely how these developments unfold. Thank you.